Hey, babe. Hey, babe. What are you doing? Nothing. You want to come to the gym and record me? Yep. Let me get dressed real quick and I'll be there. All right. I love you. Love you. All right. Bye. Bye. What is going on guys, Bob here, back with another video. We're in the gym today and we're bringing you a shoulder and tricep workout. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this. The first exercise that we're doing is the pec deck reverse fly. Now we're gonna do three sets of 10 reps here just to warm up the shoulders, get the blood flowing through the body, kind of get warm. I like starting with this exercise because it targets that rear delt. It is the weakest muscle in my shoulders and I like starting with the weaker muscle groups first because by the time I get through my entire workout, if I do them at the end, I just feel too gassed. So what I like to do is just lean my chest right into the pad. And I'm gonna do a nice wide fly, trying to keep my elbows parallel to the floor and pull through the shoulders just to really feel it in that rear delt. And then the next exercise that we're moving to is the hammer strength press. This is also called an isolateral shoulder press. We're gonna do four sets of 12 reps. And you don't need a ton of weight for this movement. What we're really trying to do is just focus on the anterior delt or the front portion of your shoulder pressing through our elbows and into the wrist and we're not really trying to bounce the weight around we're not trying to let it swing or slide back and forth we're really trying to control the movement both in the eccentric and the concentric and you'll see at the very top to keep that tension on the shoulders we're not locking out the elbows that's a key component of this movement in order to feel it which is why you don't need a ton of weight for this exercise now we're only resting about 35 to 45 seconds in between each of these sets. And you're gonna see here, if you're like me and you like to layer up, eventually that sweater is gonna come off. You're just gonna be so warm, you're gonna to need to take it off. So we're gonna do that fourth set of 12 reps. And then we're gonna move into the next exercise. Now this is my favorite exercise to perform. This is the side hanging dumbbell lateral raise. And we're doing three sets of 16 reps. But what I like about this exercise is that I actually do this as a drop set. So I grab a weight, today it was 30 pounds, so I got a 30 pound dumbbell here. I'm gonna do eight reps with the 30 pound dumbbell. And then I immediately drop the weight and grab a 15 pound dumbbell. You can do a 40 pound and a 20, or you can do a 20 pound and a 10 or a five, whatever feels better for you. I just like keeping it simple, half of 30 is 15. So I grab 15 pound dumbbell and I'll do another set of eight reps. And when I finish, my right side, I switch over to my left side. And I'll do eight reps with the 30 pound dumbbell. And then I'll finish with eight more reps with the 15 pound dumbbell. Now what we're trying to do here, we're not trying to swing the weight. We're not trying to let the weight just fall back down. We're trying to control the movement in the shoulder. Teresa's got a really good extension here with the other arm really hanging off that support on that left side. So really trying just to control that movement in the shoulder. And you'll see here, she'll drop the weight. She's using a five pound dumbbell and then she's moving to a two and a half pound plate. Now another key component here, you'll see Teresa do this. She's gonna tilt her head to keep it more in line with her body. That's just to keep the tension on that right shoulder and not to feel it so much in the left shoulder. And then the next exercise that we're moving to is the vertical shoulder press. And we're doing four sets of 10 reps here. Now what I really like about this machine is that it is supported so I can really press my back into the pad to make this movement. And even though it is an overhead press, I'm pressing in front of my body. So it's a more neutral grip. I feel it more in my front shoulder and the upper portion of my pec. And for myself with the disc herniation that I do have, I'm not completely compressing my spine. I'm kind of at an angle pressing my shoulders into the pad. So we're gonna do four sets of 10 reps here. And again, we're not locking out at the top. We're trying to keep a smooth motion, really trying to squeeze and feel that muscle working in the shoulder. 
And then to finish this off, we're gonna do rope pull downs. We're doing three sets of 10 reps. We're gonna keep our elbows tucked into our sides. We're thinking about arcing our wrist around our elbow and controlling the movement. Again, we're not trying to let the weight just fly back up on the cable. We're trying to control it so we get that resistance all the way through. So we're really trying to just focus on the movement in the tricep. And then for the last exercise, what we're gonna do is single arm cable pull downs. So now we're only doing two sets of 15 reps. Your triceps, especially on a push day, are gonna be completely burned out at this point. This is really just to finish them off. So we're gonna throw this in at the very end. Keep that elbow locked in and pull neutral across our body just to give it that pump at the end. And that's it guys. That's a quick little shoulder and workout video. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another video like this one. And we will catch you guys in the next video.